It's your favorite cow milker. Until she's dry, boys. Rhino Crunch here today. Now, I have something very special for you today. Wait, before we get into today's video, though, make sure to like the video. Click the link in the description for the giveaway if you're subscribed to the channel. I have a subscriber-only giveaway. That's all you need to do to enter. It's 10 thousand b bucks whether you're on pc ps4 or xbox the winner chooses and so really quickly though i want to talk about this game mode this game mode is amazing i love it it's a skill-based game mode this gold only mode it puts everyone on a living level playing field everyone has meds everyone has gold scars so it's a real testament to tactics and ability and me and Bodusky were just smashing we just killed I mean we killed so many games together this is the best game we had it was one of the craziest clutch games I've ever had personally on the channel you guys have ever seen from me so if at any moment I've asked this I've only asked this a couple times but if at any moment during the course of the video you think that me and Bodusky are toast I want you to like the video, okay? And in any moment, you say these boys are bacon fried grease. It's over, baby. I want you to like the video, okay? Because this was one of the best games we've ever had. Let's get right into it. You need a scar? There's a scar here. I got one. All right, pushing towards you. Oh, I'm getting pushed. What, what do you got? Waste all my ammo fighting this guy. This guy's in the white. I'm pushing these guys, Bo. I can't do this. One knocked. Two more coming in from the northeast. One more at modern as well. Pushing into uh, basement. Knock one at modern. One more on me. One more on me. All dead. There's more, there's more, there's more. Alright. I hear him shooting, but I don't see him. It sounds like he's doghouse somewhere. Where are you at? Modern. I got a uh, I got minis. Yeah, backside uh backside a gas station north. They're they slowly pushing towards me. There, I'm coming up behind you. All right, he's looking, he's looking, he doesn't see. Wait, 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 don't peek, don't peek. He doesn't know, he doesn't know, he's gonna push. <laughs> he's like, is it safe? Yeah, go get, go get some ammo. How you doing on ammo, by the way? Got 11 shots. I'm good on pistol. Huh? There you go. Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. How far do we have to go? Other side of the lake, I say we hit one of these chests and then bounce. Catch that, we'll hit that shrine on the way out. Oh, this house hasn't been hit too, the west house. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we should actually bounce, dude. All right. you know, kind of a long way to go. There's an airdrop on the way, maybe? Yeah, there's an airdrop on the way directly northeast. We can hit the shrine and then the airdrop. It's gonna 
be towards anarchy. I don't know. Is this even going to be in it? Yeah, it'll be in it. Wow, nothing at the shrine. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, there's one chest. One chest. Anything good? Uh, there's a scar in there, some ammo. Keeping it simple, man. Silence pistol and uh, uh, scar. Oh, what the heck? There's a mine down there? I didn't know that. Did you know that? There's a mine down there. Where at? Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah. Does, down what, what's down in there? Nothing. It's it looks a dead end. Sometimes there's a chest down there. Oh, I didn't even know that. These trees are so good. Come on, rocket launcher. There's a chug joke here if you want it. I got one on me. I'll take it though. I got two chug jokes. I don't think anyone landed here, bro. Back to the door. No, I think that's a. Uh... Oh, yeah, you're right. My bad. Well, they didn't hit the metal silos. Need AR ammo? Uh, I got 184. I'm good. I don't know why they didn't get that ammo. Damn. I need to go get some kills. They're slacking. Another chug jug. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this half shield. You just gotta circle back for present. Circle all the bird. It's something that you do. Yeah. Uh huh. There's a lot of people left on the circle and I don't see anybody. Oh, two more airdrops in front of us. Oh yeah, there's a guy in front of us. Uh, he's down in Tomato Town. He's peeking to the southwest somewhere. I say we come up. Yep, they're fighting. Oh yeah, yeah, I see the guy that they're peeking. We can come up behind both groups and sandwich this middle group right here in front of us. All right. I'm gonna open up with the uh, silencer. Shots from somewhere. I think it's southwest. I have to reload. Oh, yeah, up on the hill. You got any rockets? 
I got four. All right, I gotta drink this chug jug. Someone got knocked up by the storm. It's funny. Did they loot all this? I don't think they loot all this. There's a drop to our 105. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's still 105. Let go. Careful, that guy was up on top of that ridge. All right. He he doubled back though. He got out of here like a little fraidy cat. I do not like this positioning. Where is that? It's close, man. Oh, I see him. He's in the house. He's gonna have to come towards us, dude. All right, let's let's get in the zone. Can actually get up on that hill. No, let's. Wait, is that that bush isn't there? It might be, I don't know. We should hold the line on these guys, yeah? Oh, get yeah, shot in the back. They're backing up, they're pushing, careful. One knocked. Push pretty hard. I down two of his buddies up here. Careful behind you, behind you, behind you, you're taking snipe shots. Okay. I'm coming towards you. We gotta push the sniper behind us. Fall back. Can you push the sniper or no? I'm yeah, I'm, with, I'm right behind you. We're just getting sandwiched, that's all. Oh my god, what a shot, dude. What a beast. Sniper's close. I'm just getting... I'm gonna get positioned, don't worry about it. He's. It looks like he's pushing, dude. I can't build. Are you out of materials? No, I got 400 materials. Building limits might have been reached. Right, I'm gonna block you. Can you get up on this? I can't this. see. I can't see I can't anything. Here. Uh oh. I can't even go stairs. Just, can you pick me up? I got a judge up for you. All right. Do you have any rockets? Can you drop them? Oh, yeah. This is a high pressure situation. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna die. 
I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get this guy's flank, dude. Can you get in? Yeah, I'm slowly coming in. I think this guy bailed. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I keep blocking myself. Oh my god, dude, this is... I don't know where this guy is. You're good, right? Do you see him? Yeah. No. I'm gonna reload. Is he up in that building still? No, I think he bailed. He bailed. Pretty sure he bailed. Yeah, yeah. he's shooting at somebody else. No, he's shooting me. Oh my god. I got this bow. You got any heals or meds or anything? Yeah, I got choke jokes. Dropping it. Bo, just don't move. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't build, don't move, don't say anything, don't do anything. This guy is a beast, dude. He's a good shot. He is a good shot, and he is working us. But, I mean, he's not working us hard enough, that's for sure. Start to push him. We gotta push him together. Just get ready to spam build. You know he's gonna start hammering. Hopefully that's his loot right there. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Is he a rocket launcher? Yeah, that might be him. No? Do you wanna grab the rocket launcher? Or you got one, right? Yeah, I got one. No rockets though. I'm building up. I'm gonna clear out the path. Oh yeah, I see a group, uh, southeast. I think it's him over there, dude. Oh, someone just took a snipe at me. He's, uh, close 15, behind a tree. Can we push this guy? He's a solo. Alright. Got him. Building up again. You know that there's people in the uh, trees right now, right? Yeah. That's why I hate coming here. Me too. This is my least favorite spot to come. This is like the most clutch game ever. Bo, do you need to heal? I need to heal. Yeah, they're still building over there at the south. Are they? Yeah. Come towards you. I mean, they got they got a whole base going here. You think that's the last team? Yeah, there's only two left. Let's start hammering it. Once we get in, we're, I'm just hammering it as smoke screen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where that one come from? Oh, he's to the southeast pushing. I think that's the same guy.
I'm gonna clear the way. Get ready to shoot him. Yeah, 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 he's watching east, east, east. One more shot, should be done. Push, gain ground, gain ground. He's on me, he's on me. Got him, got him, got him! Last one, last one. He's, uh, last one's north, 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 north. Do you have any heals? No, no. dude yeah bro oh my god oh my god i cannot believe we just won that that was oh my god those those last two guys were legit bro that last guy what was his name i didn't even see his name that was the craziest clutch win i've ever gotten and that's it that's all i have for you boys and girls what an epic game. I hope it earns your like. That guy, he 100% had us. Like, we were done. I don't know why he didn't finish what he started. I guess he just assumed that I died of natural causes in the storm. But, boy, you better finish what you start, man. So, what an awesome game. I love this game mode. I hope they keep it. Epic Games, anyone in Epic Games listening, watching, amazing game mode. Please keep this game mode. Please keep skill-based gameplay in the game. It's so much fun, man. It's just so good. It's hard to play regular now that you, you know, gold only. So we're going to get into some scripture. We're going to start a new series. It's been a while since I've done a series, and this is going to be an interesting series. I was actually reading an article the other day about Thomas Jefferson, which is the third American president, one of the founding fathers. He was an interesting guy, and he was a Christian. However, he didn't believe in the miracles of Jesus. He didn't believe it so much in that he removed all the parts of the Bible. I, I, I'm not making this up. Look this up. His, his Bible is actually in the Smithsonian. He removed all the parts, uh, all the miracles. He liked everything else. He agreed with everything else. He thought everything else was fantastic, but the miracles to him were ridiculous, so he removed them. Now, we can't pick and choose parts of the Bible that we like to hear because there's a lot of great advice and a lot of great positive, comforting, uh, just philosophy about life in the Bible that is good. And there's a lot of s serious stuff that makes, you know, the truth hurt, makes us feel bad. We have to take it in his entirety, in, in Jesus's words, in its entirety, the message in its entirety. So in honor of Mr. Jefferson, what we're going to do for the next seven days is we are going to talk about the miracles of Jesus Christ. There were seven of them, seven major ones. And we are going to start with the first. We're going to end with the last. So I hope you guys stick around for the next seven days. This is going to be a great series. This is a, when I read that article, I was inspired because I think that's hilarious. That's like, it's like literally editing a movie or, or something that you like to your liking because you don't agree with it. So ridiculous to me, but it's inspiring me to do a series. So let's get right into it. We're going to get into the first miracle of Jesus Christ, which starts in chapter 2 of the book of John, verse 1. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. 
Woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied. My hour has not yet come. If I ever, by the way, if I ever, t if I ever told my mom, what if I ever addressed my mom as woman, I would have been hit so hard. I would have been, there would have been an object in her hand with it when she hit me. Okay. I don't know what kind of relationship. Anyways, let's continue. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the choice wine first and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Now, this is an interesting miracle. I, 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 there's a couple of things that I find really interesting. The relationship between Jesus and his mother, I feel like there was, now this, there may be some truth to this. This is just my opinion, but I feel like there was some sort of relationship where his mother knew he was special. Now, I know all moms are like, oh, my boy is special. Well, your, your, your son ain't the son of God. I mean, that kind of special. Listen, he may be an astronaut or be really great at some sport or something, but he ain't turning no water into wine by the time he's 30. Let's just put it that way. But I feel like she definitely knew he was something special at that point. And that's why he kind of gets he kind of gets defensive. He's like, why are you involving me, Mom? I, I'm not here. Listen, I'm not here to be turning your friend's parties. I, I'm not I mean, I'm not here to get this party crunk, okay? I my time my hour has not yet come. So the other important thing that that kind of that kind of sticks out that I thought was funny is how how cheap the Sarah, you know, this thing is like everyone bring out the good wine first. And when everyone's all toasted, then bring out the cheap wine. <laughs> like, I don't know. I thought that was funny, but then the, also the other thing is, um, the glory. This is, this is God's glory. And a lot of times I, I, I just, this is an opportunity for me to give God glory. Everything in my life I attribute to my success, all of that, my family, my wife, my, just the overabundant uh, provisions that God has provided for me and my family, I attribute to God's glory. And I think that this miracle was, even though that, yes, it was kind of for this, this uh, wedding, it was also to start to ease his disciples and ease people in his life to let people know he is, he's going to be glorifying God. And this is just the first of many miracles to come. And, it's a cool miracle. I like it. I like this water to wine. It, this this alchemist, this this uh, you know changing water at a molecular level. We can never even possibly understand how to do that, even with technology today, in in such a manner that it changes instantly. Now, I think this is amazing, and this is a great miracle to start. We have six more to go over the next six days, so I hope you stick around for those, and. I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday video tomorrow, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Guys, I'm really, really trying to work on daily uploads every day at 12 p.m. So if you're trying to get the keys, make sure you turn notifications on. Make sure you're here. And for the next six days, we're going to have the miracles of Christ every day at the same time. I'm going to work on my consistency. I've been really inconsistent lately. I apologize for that but we're going to get back into it. So with that being said, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. And I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace and God bless.